So if you're Canon 20 to 35, 3.5 to 4.5, uh, can't autofocus or manual focus, then this video is for you. I'll be taking that apart and showing you how to fix it. All you need is a set of JIS, JIS screwdrivers and some tweezers. Now the main problem is, inside here, there's a metal spring that exerts pressure onto some felt in here. And that spring, uh, eventually over time, it loosens and it weakens, so it doesn't put enough pressure on it. I've already fixed this one, but I'll take it apart to show you. Um, so essentially, it prevents you from both autofocusing and manually, manually focusing. Uh, if it were broken, this manual focusing ring wouldn't do anything. You wouldn't see the distance scale moving at all. You want to preferably use a set of JIS screwdrivers. Um, you can buy them for like 10 bucks on eBay or Amazon. All using these two. Um, you don't want to strip these screws because they're important. So just be careful when you're opening them for the first time. They may be tight, so just be careful. Okay, when you get to this part where you've disassembled, um, you've taken out the four main screws holding the mounting plate to the, the rest of the lens. Don't take it apart because you still have to take care of this, which is there are two small screws connecting it to the back uh, mounting plate here, or the mount here. You want to use a smaller screwdriver for this. Um, before I do it, don't take this one off. This is this doesn't connect to anything. I think that's just for the bayonet mount. When I tried to take it off, um, it was really tight, so I decided to just leave it there and it doesn't affect anything. You can take the whole mount off and it, yeah, it's not excluded into anything. Now, when you, get, when you get to this part, be careful because this is connected to a circuit board. You don't want to rip that out of the circuit board, otherwise your lens is going to be permanently broken. So just lightly take it out. This plastic part, it comes right off, it's not screwed in or anything. So just with, in the, with it in this position, right? Just slowly and lightly push it out. from the inside, like that. And since this isn't screwed in anymore, you can just take it off like that. So right in this position, you can see there are four, well, yeah, you want to zoom out the lens so that back lens isn't protruding into your work area. You got four connecting um, wires. I forgot what they're called, but you use your tweezers for this, because you can see there's two that need to be unlocked by pulling out here. And then these two, you can just pull out by directly touching the wire. Just be, be careful. Just wiggle it out. Yeah.
And don't worry, these wires are, they're not that um, tough. I mean, they're not that um, easy to break, I mean. And there's only one screw on this, on the circuit board here, so just unscrew that, be careful. Slowly remove it. Make sure to keep track of the position the circuit board is in, so that when you reattach it, when you put it back together, you know how to, how to put it back together. And now you can see you're in this part of the lens. This is the part right before where you're able to access the focusing uh, mechanism. All you have to do is unscrew three screws here. I use the big screwdriver for this one, bigger one. Um, you can see on each, yeah, there are six screws here. You only you only need to unscrew three of them. Uh, they're all they're, they're located in a triangular position. You want the one on the right in every position. But before you do that, the wires are connected to a small pin, black pin here. You see that there? You want to take that out. Otherwise, you're going to rip the wires. And that one too. These are there are only two wires that do that. So and just unscrew. And now we get here. All I have to do. This is the problem part, you don't have to take anything out underneath, so you don't really have to care. So, this is the problem piece. My camera's running out of batteries, so I gotta do this quick. You rotate it counterclockwise. Take it out. Don't You don't have to touch anything here. Um, the small foam felt thing here might stick to this when you're taking it out, so be careful. If it comes out with it, it doesn't really matter. So all I have to do is Stretch it a bit, you know, make the waves more wavy, make them bigger, right. And when you put it back, make sure that you rotate it clockwise. Because you counter, you rotate it counterclockwise to remove it, and so in order to exert the proper pressure onto it, let's see. Here, you're gonna line it up. There's a small gap right there. You, you see that plastic part, black plastic. Line that up with this small indent here. So wrap it around the wires, be sure not to damage them, and then insert that part there, and once you're there, press down, press down and rotate clockwise, all the way, until you hear it stop, or feel it stop. Okay, now it's locked in. And all I have to do is reassemble the lens. So line it up, you see here the line here, that's the middle, so of course you want to line it up there. Okay, it's all good. Now first we insert the screws, the three screws you took out. Make sure to tighten the screws properly. Make sure there's no wiggle. There's a bit of wiggle on mine, but I think that's just because the 
inner zoom part is a bit wiggly. I don't want to get into that yet, so. Now I'm reinserting the uh, circuit board. You see this hole here? You want to line that up with the screw hole there, so. Oh yeah, before you do that, actually, actually you should probably put the wires back into their positions around the small pins. Yep. Okay. And now all you do is just put the wires back in their proper positions. <clears throat> Make sure these are fully out so that they're, they're unlocked and so you're able to put the wires back. I'll put the screw in first. It's easier to put these uh, back. Okay, that one's good. Be careful with touching this part. Oh, and before you reassemble the whole thing, you want to make sure you actually put, did it properly. Uh, you don't have to reassemble it at this point. All right, you got to check if the manual focus ring and the distance scale both move in, move in tandem, right? Then it's, put enough, it's putting enough pressure onto the focusing system. So if that works, then the autofocusing should, should work, but it's not guaranteed. So just put all the wires back in first. Okay, that one's good. So just make sure to lock it back in. You can see these. So locked in. Now that's properly secured. And do that for the the last wire. That one's locked in. Okay, now we're all good. Except maybe that. Okay. Now put the mounting, the mount, metal mount back. You see these screws here? These line up with that, so. The screw holes here. This one in the middle. Uh, it doesn't have a screw in it. Look at maintain. Uh, oh wait, never mind. This one in the middle. These two are the ones you put the screws in. On there. So. Yep, that's good. And I prefer to put put the mount on first before putting the plastic bit. Because the plastic, that's, it's not important, so you can just put it on last.
Okay, now it's all reassembled, so just push it back in. Same way you pushed it out. You might get uh, smudges on the lens there, but don't worry, you can just clean that with a lens cloth. <clears throat> and that's why I, rec I recommend to just zoom it out to 35 millimeters so you don't touch it. And it should be repaired. Let me test it quickly before I run out of time on my recording. And it works. So that's a successful 20 to 35, 3.5, 4.5 repair, lens repair.